guys, Dr. David Jockers here, and today we're talking about how to test your stomach acid levels. And in particular, we're talking about a specific test called the Betaine HCL Challenge Test. So, or uh, shortened, it's called the HCL, which is hydrochloric acid, stomach acid, the HCL Challenge Test. It's a real simple test. One, one of the tests I have most of my clients do because I see so many people are under producing hydrochloric acid, okay? In fact, I mean, there's research out there showing, you know, they took 199, for example, they took 199 people that were having issues with, uh, with their gallbladder, right? And what they found was that out of that, 79% had low stomach acid production, right? So 79%, so I mean, it's a really common sign that they, in a sense, really common thing that people have low stomach acid production. So we definitely wanna, wanna make sure we're or testing, and it's a very simple and easy test. And so what you do is you go ahead, you buy some betaine HCL with pepsin, and pepsin is basically an enzyme in our stomach that works with stomach acid to break down protein. And that's really the function of stomach acid, is it breaks down protein, it helps sterilize our gut environment. So when we consume food, food, get, food has bacteria and microorganisms in it, and we need to sterilize it. So our stomach acid should get very low, like 1.5 to 2.0 pH. And that actually helps to break down uh, the protein so we, can, so we can metabolize it and absorb the amino acids effectively. And on top of that, it helps to sterilize, so kills off bacteria and microorganisms. Extremely important. If we don't do that, oftentimes we'll have small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. Stomach acid also helps trigger bile release, pancreatic enzyme release. So it's really kind of like, it sets a stage, right? It's like the starting pitcher in a baseball game. It really sets the stage for healthy digestion. We need to make sure we've got this um, under control and that we're producing enough and we're utilizing it well. So you get some betaine HCL with pepsin. I recommend acid prozyme. We've got that on, on my online store. Basically for, uh, for a small bottle, that's $20, right? It's very inexpensive. It's all you need, you get that, okay? Um, and what you do is this, you get a meal where you've got ideally at least six ounces of meat, right? So like to some degree, like the size of your fist, maybe a little bit larger, could be chicken, could be grass fed beef, you know, ideally something healthy, right? It would be best, although it doesn't actually have to be, it could be, you know, chicken from anywhere. So, um, so basically you get about six ounces of meat and you have that with a meal. You could have it with a salad or a soup or something along those lines. I recommend eating about half of it, all right? Or just at least having, let's say four or five spoonfuls, then going ahead and taking one of the acid prozyme caps, right? So you take one, you go ahead, you finish your meal, then you observe how you feel over the next hour or so. Do, if you notice that you've got like a mild little, little bit of indigestion, right? And you don't normally have acid reflux, or right? You don't normally have indigestion, yet you notice like a mild little burning in your chest, a mild little indigestion, and maybe even a burp or a belch. Um, if you notice that, it's a sign, it's actually a good sign. It's a sign that you're producing enough hydrochloric acid on a regular basis. So that's good. That's, that's a great sign. It means that you don't need to take the acid prozyme or the betaine HCL supplement. So that, that's a great sign. If you don't notice anything, it's actually a sign that you're not producing enough. You should normally, if you're producing enough acid and you add in more acid, you actually produce too much and you're gonna have, you shouldn't actually have some sort of an indigestion response, okay? Unless, of course, you normally experience indigestion. If you're somebody who normally experiences acid reflux and indigestion, then you should notice that you don't have it. Okay, because acid reflux and ingestion is a sign that we're not producing enough hydrochloric acid on a typical basis. So you should not experience it. When you add back more acid, you actually shut down, you actually produce enough acid to where the esophageal sphincter, the little muscle that connects, uh, basically protects the esophagus from the stomach acid, it will close down because it will sense, okay, acid is low, like 2.0 or below. I need to close down so that this acid doesn't jump up and burn the esophagus. If we have acid reflux, a sign that we're not producing enough acid, therefore we don't contract that esophageal sphincter, it remains open and acid can jump up and burn us. And that's a problem. So when we take the acid prozyme, 
And if we normally have acid reflux, it should lower the acid and it, the acid reflux should go away. So that's a sign. So if you normally experience acid reflux and you continue to experience it with one capsule, you need more, okay? If you don't experience anything, if you don't normally um, have acid reflux and you don't experience a sense of indigestion or heartburn, again, it's a sign you need more. So the next meal, do the same thing. Six ounces of meat, veggies, you know, things like that. Go ahead, have four to five bites, and then take two of the acid prozyme supplement. And again, you're observing the same thing. If you normally have acid reflux, it should go away. If you don't normally have acid reflux or indigestion, and you experience acid reflux or indigestion, then you know that you're taking too much. So the next meal, you go back to one and see how you do. If you don't notice anything, no response to the supplement, then it's a sign you need more. And it's not uncommon, particularly for individuals that have autoimmune diseases, skin diseases like, e like uh, eczema, acne, psoriasis, vitiligo, uh, people that have uh, small intestinal, like digestive types of issues, chronic inflammation in their body, not uncommon for them to need sometimes four, five. I've had patients that needed eight to 10 capsules. So if you're going up that much and you're still not noticing a response, that's not uncommon, okay? And addressing your stomach acid, getting it right, is the most important things you could possibly do for your health. So here's what happens. Let's say you get up to the limit and let's say you take four and you notice you don't normally have acid reflux. You take four and you have acid reflux. Then it's a sign you need three at each one of these kind of protein containing meals, okay? You don't, won't need it if you were to have a protein shake. Shakes are already uh, broken down, pre-digested, it's easy on the body. But if you're having meat, right, that you've got to break down and, and, and process and digest, that's when you need it. So let's say you take three capsules, okay? Now, if you were to have, let, and this is another, another, uh, another thing that we want to keep in, 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 in track is that if you have less than six ounces, so you've got just a really small amount of meat, you're not going to need as much, right? So always, always keep that into account. But if you're having that normal meal that's six ounces, and you're, you need three, you take three until again, all of a sudden you notice indigestion. And what you'll notice is your body is producing or, or you're supplementing with the, the hydrochloric acid. Over time, you're gonna absorb nutrients better and you're gonna sterilize your gut environment better. So your whole system is gonna get better. You're gonna, you're gonna have less inflammation, better nutrient absorption. Over time, your body's gonna be better able at producing its own stomach acid. So over time, let's say two weeks, four weeks, maybe six weeks, you need less hydrochloric acid. You'll notice it because you'll have a little bit of indigestion. Then you drop back to two until you notice that. And then you drop back to one, right? And that's really the cycle that you go through. So the younger you are and the healthier you are, the better you're going to respond, the faster you're going to be able to get off of the acid prozyme supplement. The older you are, the, the longer that you've had these kind of symptoms, the longer it's going to take. Sometimes people need to be on a certain level of hydrochloric acid supplement for the rest of their life. That's not uncommon for individuals that have been dealing with chronic issues for a long time, people with celiac disease, people with severe leaky gut, not uncommon. But I will tell you, hydrochloric acid supplementation is very inexpensive and the difference it will make in your energy levels, your digestion, your overall inflammation, it's so worth utilizing that supplement, even if you've got to take it for the rest of your life. But I will tell you, I have a number of clients that by utilizing this supplement, along with an anti-inflammatory diet and uh, specific protocols with their nutrition and perhaps some other supplements, at least in the early stages, I've seen so many clients see a complete reversal in, in, in their issues, um, reversing chronic diseases and major inflammatory issues, digestive problems. They will tell you hands down, it's so worth it. So take the time, do the B10 HCL challenge, see where you fall, see how much you need on a regular basis, continue with that and just follow the protocols. And if you want more information on that, we've got tons of articles that discuss this in detail um, right on our website, drjockers.com. So go ahead and check that out. And it, you know, if you're watching this on YouTube, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Um, leave a comment in the box below. Maybe you've tried the test. Let other people know how you did. Maybe you're somebody that's seen benefits using HCL with pepsin. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let us know um, what kind of benefits you're experiencing. Or let's say you, know, you just didn't see any change. Leave that as well. Um, just leave a comment. Um, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube so that way you're getting these videos on a regular basis coming right into your email inbox, recipe videos, educational videos just like this one. 
and uh, that way you're getting this information. So, you know, I just uh, wanna let you guys know I really, really appreciate all your support, your comments, everything really goes into how we develop these videos and all the online programs that we have at drjockers.com. So I love you guys, I appreciate you guys. We'll see you with the next video. God bless you.